All right, you need a laugh? He's a comedian, he's a storyteller, an actor, a best-selling author, but perhaps the title he most identifies with these days is Reluctant Dad. Yes, we're talking about Mike Barbiglia, and he's sharing his hilarious and heartfelt journey through fatherhood and his new book, The New One, Painfully True Stories of a Reluctant Dad. So, uh, Mike, first welcome. Um, so explain to us, why on earth were you such a reluctant dad in the beginning? You know, I would say I so definitively did not ever want to have a child in my whole life that the first half of the book is all of the reasons I never want to have a child. Seven full detailed reasons why I never want to have a child. And the second half of the book is about how I had a child and how I was right. And then, and then, and then ultimately I was wrong. And that's why the book is comedic, but also emotional. Talk about the, the, the moment, the catalyst when you realize, yeah. wait, maybe I was wrong. I mean, <laughs> you had a baby, you, she's five. Yeah, I, I never wanted to have a child. It's just nothing, nothing I envisioned for myself, right? And then, um, and then at a certain point, um, Jen said to me, you know, I explained all the reasons why I never want to have a child. And she said, Jen said, I know all of that. And I think you'd be a good dad. And I really had to take that to heart because uh, Jen, I know that Jen would be a great mom. And I know that we're life partners and that we're always going to be married. And so I think sometimes when, some, when someone you love feels so strongly about something, they can sometimes see something that you can't. Imagine, uh, if, Mike, if you saw that you, you found a book that your dad had written and it was like seven reasons I didn't want to have this kid. And you were like, Oh my God, wait, that. So how on earth are you going to explain to her? Oh, to that book sounds phenomenal. So, yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> um, I feel like I, uh, I felt that book growing up, but never read that book. <laughs> I, I genuinely feel like Jen and I always say this about our daughter, which is like, we're not going to hide the book from our daughter. We wrote it for our daughter. The final chapter is, is basically a letter to Una from me, like on the other side of it. And basically saying like, you know, we want you to be honest uh, about things that you're uncomfortable with because often uncomfortable truths are how you connect most with people who you love. What's so funny too is like, you know, the book spans the age of like, you know, when Jen was pregnant to when she was 13 months old. And that's a really hard period. You know, yes. like I really felt like I was on the outside. I was like, I remember thinking like my wife and daughter love each other so much and I'm there too. <laughs> I, was, I was just this pudgy, milkless vice president of the family. Huge <laughs> title, no power, also overseas Congress. You know, but, but I just felt like nothing, <laughs> like nothing for 13 months. And then, but now our daughter's five and she's adorable. And like, I connect with her so deeply. If you were a reluctant dad before, we've all been quarantined with our families oh, yeah. for a long time. I wonder how <laughs> that reluctancy has shown up in the last, <laughs> in the last couple months. Well, it's funny because uh, a lot of people, a lot of comedians have been working on jokes during the quarantine and I've been working on a vaccine. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's two parts French toast, one part syrup. We're in third phase trials. The first two didn't work, but we're just going ahead with the third. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny the quarantine. It's like, it definitely puts your family into sort of a the play no exit you know where you're like okay well these are the characters and uh here we are and but we i feel like we really bonded it's been like a really special time for us actually as 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 strange as as it has been uh, and and sad as it, it's been i still can't get the image of a pudgy milkless <laughs> vice president but i do i would like to meet the president jen yes, yes. Um, oh, i think we'd here. like to meet her yeah. is jen there Jenna, Jenna pop in. She's uh... hi, hi, Jen. So, yeah. um, Jen, if you were gonna give your reluctant, you know, husband at the time, if you're gonna give him a, a superlative when it comes to being a father, what would it be? I'm a sucker. You're, I was gonna. I don't think that's I a mean, superlative as much as it's just an insult. It's I mean, a sweet sucker. No, it's a sweet sucker. A sweet, sweet sucker. sucker. Oh. See, that's, that's love. Perfect. Well, guys, we just want to say thank you. We uh, 
where your book is funny as you are, you can tell right now. I mean, it was just a fun interview. So Mike, thank you. Thanks, hey. Jen. Thanks, Thanks Heather. Thank Thanks, you guys. Man. For more laughs, you can read an excerpt of Mike's new book in the New York Times parenting section on Friday. And you can take a look at his book on today.com slash shop.